Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth and this is day 67 of my 90 day tougher challenge. I cannot believe it's getting so close to 90 days. I don't want this amazing experience to end and it's not going to. I'm going to continue um, on the program and everything, but oh, it's been amazing. I'm just so thankful. Um, today has been so, so much better than yesterday. Um, I meant to share a really wise word that my trainer shared with me yesterday. I would texted her um, kind of, I don't know, mid-afternoon, I guess, and just said, hey, I'm facing a pretty tough situation today, and I'm really struggling food-wise, and, you know, and her response to me was, you can only control you. You control you. And that is so, so wise. I've heard that a million times, like from my mom, who is super wise. I'm so thankful for her. But she's right. So it's always good to have a friend who speaks truth into your life all the time, even when you don't want to hear it, just to remind you of what's true and what's right. And so um, that has helped me. I keep going back to that truth that I am not in control of anybody and I can't control situations that um, are outside of me, but I can control how I respond to them. I can control how I choose to eat, how I choose to handle the stress. So it was very, very good. And even though I had a weak moment yesterday, I think it really helped me um, not go overboard. So anyway, it was, it was good, a good word, and I'm, I'm thankful for that. So today was an awesome workout. Um, I had boot camp with Shayla at 9.30, and um, <laughs> there's this one trainer at the gym. His name is Quentin, and he is a fine-looking specimen of a man. And, I mean, he is cut, he's ripped, he looks really, really good, and he's got the best personality. I mean, he loves to give everybody a hard time in the gym. And Anyway, when I got there this morning, um, Shayla told everybody for boot camp that we had to walk a mile for our warm-up or run it or whatever. So um, I went to where she was sitting, and Quentin was sitting beside her. And I'm like, Shayla, do you want me on the treadmill this morning or the elliptical? And she's like, hmm. And Quentin goes, I think outside. And Shayla goes, yeah, outside. And it's stinking hot outside. <laughs> I'm like dying. So anyway, thanks, Quentin. I appreciate that. But um, anyway, so that's how we started out. And then, oh my gosh, we did these, um, I guess, like interval training, I guess. I don't know. But one half of the room had to do push-ups with a not a hand clap, but just raising your hands off the mat when you go down. And the other half had to do thrusters and deadlifts, I think it's called. And so we had to do so many within a one minute time period, and then you had to do it again for another minute, and then again for another minute, till we did 10 reps. And so we ended up doing 100 push-ups in 10 minutes. Oh my gosh, died. And then we had, then we switched sides, and um, and the other side did the push-ups, and then we did the, the thrusters and the deadlifts. And then we all had to go do another lap, and then we came back in, and we all had to do burpees. Shayla, honey, really. So anyway, and then I'm finding that I'm not burning as many calories as I used to in boot camp. Like, used to... When I first started, I would easily get almost to 500 just from boot camp. Today, 350, 365, I mean, it's making me so mad. And Shayla and Heidi both said it's because the more fit you get, the harder it is to burn big calories. So Shayla had me get on the elliptical, and my sweet friend Christy stayed with me and walked on the treadmill until I hit 500. Then I was able to go to yoga. And so um, yoga was so interesting today. Um, Heidi led the class and um, we there were, was a point in the class when she said, now we're gonna do some twisting. And I'm like, oh, okay, wow. We've never, I don't think we've ever done it 
quite like this before. But when we um, did, I mean, we're sitting on our mat. For those of you who are in yoga, I just want to try to help you see what we were doing. We're sitting on our mats. We have one leg out straight, one knee bent. Yeah, one knee bent. And then um, we used our straps to help us. But then you turn and you're like twisting to the right or twisting to the left or whatever. But you initially turn and then you use your strap to twist you even more. It's kind of like wringing out a washcloth. But oh my gosh, my insides were like screaming at me. Okay, sorry guys, but my ovaries were screaming at me, my um, stomach, and I just felt a burn. But then when we released, totally felt better. So after class, I was like, um, Heidi, what's up with that? Does that affect your insides? And she's like, oh yeah, it's, they even have classes that are just for twists. And um, what it does is it acts as a, um, a detox, I think she said, for your organs in your body because you're, you really are scrunching them up and like squeezing out the nasty stuff. So it seems out there and like la la, but it's totally true. I mean, I could feel it. I couldn't believe it. It was the weirdest thing. The other thing is, I've told you before, in yoga, emotions just come up. And I I may know why, and I've forgotten. <laughs> Hello, I'm getting old. But um, I, I, don't, I don't remember why that happens. But, um, and so I had a real, really hard time just staying in yoga today mentally and focusing on the moment and so that was a real challenge for me and I even had a moment um, at the end when we were doing uh, I forget how to say it but when you're resting and I just got overwhelmed with emotion for you know what's going on right now and um, so that was yeah that was challenging so anyway but overall a really great day um, the scale finally came back down again. I'm back at 24 pounds lost. I'm really, really happy about that. Oh, one last thing. My lovely trainer has the most impeccable um, timing in the world. She texted me last night and said, Oh, are you still drinking that 100 gallons of Diet Dr. Pepper a day at Sonic? <laughs> and I was like, um, it's only Route 44. Thank you very much. And she said, well, it's time to give those up. And I'm like, oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> and I told her, your timing is just wrong. <laughs> but she said, yep. Yeah. And she said, and don't think I won't follow you. So I, um, I was able to enjoy the one that I had at the moment. And then I haven't had any since. So, so far, no headache or anything like that. Um, I've had some a lot of water today and I had an iced tea and sweet so um, yeah <laughs> it's gonna be interesting over the next few days to see how I do but um, I appreciate everyone's encouragement so much I've had so many people in the last few days just tell me how much thinner I look and um, that they can tell the weights falling off of me and so that makes me feel good even my husband, he's in Hong Kong right now, and we Skyped yesterday, and he goes, hmm, you do look like you've lost some weight. I'm like, hello, you live with me. What's up with that? So anyway, I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.